Bees are so fascinating. When you first go into a beehive, you're like worried about getting stung. And then as soon as you start watching them and seeing them on the combs, communicating with each other, it's just so fascinating, so complex. And it mostly works until we get in the way of it. Populations of honeybees are dying at levels that are unprecedented and very concerning. Close to half of the colonies in the U.S. dying every single year. Native pollinators have disappeared and, and farming has become a lot bigger. And so due to all this, you know, now they need beekeepers that can move bees from one place to the other. We can learn a good deal from bees about the health of the landscapes that we inhabit. And we can learn a good deal about the folly of setting up our agriculture in quite the way that we have. The agriculture is an interruption of a natural system, but it can be done thoughtfully as an interruption of a natural system with great benefits. It's gonna take 20, 30 years for that ground to get back in the shape it was to sustain life for all these wild insects, birds, and fowl, and everything else. Protecting the land around us, protecting the soil under us, is really our obligation. And from that, we get delicious, nourishing products. We've been pollinating fruits and vegetables and nuts for since the 70s, 60s, 50s. Um, and we haven't had these kind of losses. We're not bad beekeepers, we're just trying to hang on to our business.